Was the site of Potsdamer Platz imposed on you or did you have a choice and did you have thoughts for other locations that you would like to do other memorials? No, first of all, I don't want to do any more memorials. Uh, the world has enough memorials and I've done my memorial. First, the no, I wanted the site. It was given to us and I wanted to be there because it was over Joseph Goebbels' uh, house. It was over many of the tunnels to the Hitler bunker. It was right next to the Brandenburg Gate. It's right behind the Deutsche Bank. It, you know, it the, was the heart of Nazism. People in Berlin, in Berlin and Germany, political people, tried to get us to move the project to the Alexanderplatz. Uh, they, they said, oh no, it's, it's too big. Uh, uh, I didn't understand what too big meant. Uh, uh, most people in Germany when we started wanted, the idea of a memorial was Rodin's uh, Burgers of Calais. Uh, could we have a, seven Jews weeping under a tree somewhere, not where we can see it, right? And this was an in-your-face place uh, where you can't miss it, and um, I think we fought to keep it at Potsdamer Platz, and to me, it was the only place that it should be, and it, could, it was even bigger before. Uh, it was only the American Embassy that sort of had to have security that we had to move away from it. Uh, they were afraid that terrorists were going to throw things at them, but. Uh, no, I, I'm, I'm pleased that it's there, and um, I hope it'll be there for a long time. Why not make up the loss? If you could discover in the archives some old, unrealized plans <coughs> by Gramante, why not follow through and build them? Well, first of all, uh, I was just at Vigevano, which is the great piazza, the best piazza in all of Italy, by Bramante. By the, that was right outside of Milan, about 30 miles west is Vigevano. Probably very few people in this room have ever been there. If you want to have an urban experience outside of the city, see Bramante's Vigevano, okay? But if you said to me, let's get Bramante's plans for Vigevano out and let's build it over there in Cliffside Park in New Jersey, I'd said, whoa, whoa, whoa. The context is different well, that... Plans that have never been no, no. I mean, let's assume uh, that this would never been built, right? Um, no, no, I don't think so. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm not uh, for reconstituting the past as the present through... They were great projects that weren't built in their time. I don't think to build them today, you know, I, I mean, I do. I am a f believer in the zeitgeist. There is no absolute beauty. Uh, I, I believe in the argument uh, foot put forward by uh, Claude Perrault in his Ordnance in the 17th century, where he said there are no rules of beauty. Beauty is of today. We we must build. Up. He was the first person that talked about a zeitgeist. Well, people disagree. Uh, I'm, I'm a zeitgeist kid, all right? A uh, kid of the polis and a kid of the zeitgeist. Uh, and, and I believe to build today, we didn't know about deconstruction, let's say, in 1930. Uh, we didn't know that it was possible to rethink the part-to-whole relationships. Uh, when I was in school, uh, we were t being taught by people who were brought up in the Beaux-Arts. Uh, and uh, now the students are being taught by people that were brought up and weaned by Jacques Derrida and others. Um, and so uh, we, we have to continue to use the knowledge that we have, the tools we have. We didn't have digital processes before. Uh, we have to make a use of the things that we have. Um, and also to cast aside things that may not be any longer useful and um, or have the same iconic value. To build a bank today with uh, in a neoclassical facade would be silly. Uh, and uh, I'm sorry, 
it would be silly because it wouldn't have the same value. It would look silly and it would be a silly bank. Uh, all right? So, um, or to build a post office as in a neoclassical facade would be a silliness today. I want you asked the question. I know it's been done, but it ain't, it ain't what I, I'm thinking. I'm going to say something heretical, okay, to close with. I, I believe that sustainability is like motherhood. I've said this many times. Uh, it's absolutely fabulous, but I'm totally incapable of doing it. I believe in the good environment. I believe in all those things, but I don't believe that sustainability produces icons. And I think that arch architecture is somehow about the iconic possibility of our culture. I have, you know, if Paul Rudolph's architecture building at Yale can get a LEED certificate, uh, then any building can, by the way. Uh, and so I think sustainability is a, a market trick to uh, cause people to buy things. I mean, you know, I have a friend that put solar panels on his house, and I said up in Brantford, Connecticut, he's an architect, and I said, hey, Mark, how much electricity? You know, he said, we don't get much from it, you know. I said, no kidding. Uh, and he said, we've never really amortized the value of what it costs. So, you know, I'm not convinced that sustainability, uh, I, I believe in the idea, I've not yet seen it possible, and I don't teach it, right? Because I think you need to learn what is architecture, what it is to create something, and then sustainability is an attitude toward uh, that uh, creation, which is important. But, uh, yes, but uh, I'm too long a tooth to uh, change my stripes. But. It is ethically and morally important. It doesn't lead, for me, I'm interested in great architecture. Uh, that's what moves me. I've never, I tell you, the worst building in Oberlin where my son used to go was done by an architect who is Mr. Sustainable, right? It is one of the worst buildings I have ever seen. That doesn't mean that, what? Oh, give it to me. Give me the commission, and I'll try. Uh, but um, I, I think it's it's covering up for not being able to do something. Uh, that is to produce good architecture. You produce sustainable architecture. I believe that it's a problematic. Uh, it's a it's a function, and I don't want to introduce this too loudly. Of late capital. Uh, trying to find ways of energizing markets and things like that, products, etc. Uh, and I don't think uh, ultimately it's uh, where the world wants to go. And uh, I, I don't think we want to see urban buildings with green hanging all <coughs> over them. I mean, I saw in Milan, uh, the latest tower in Milan has uh, is decorated with what I think were Christmas trees, you know, uh, all over the facade. And I'm not convinced that this is uh, in, in any way leading to uh, something that's important. In fact, I would argue that sustainability has more immorality involved in its production than ethical morality. That would be my... A uh, final thing, I know you'll all hate me for that, but that's okay. Uh.